Hey everyone, welcome to Effects Creation. Today we are going to create this. So let's get started. First, create a new composition. 1920 by 1080. And I called this final composition. Now create a new solid layer. And I called this background layer. Select the background layer, go to effects and preset, and search fill color. Change the color as per your choice. Now here I have a dot footage, so import dot footage into the timeline, here you can see the dots, now resize the dot footage according to composition. Then duplicate the dot footage, and rotate the layer, something like this. Now I want to add line effects on our composition, so create a new composition. And I called this line. Then select Pen Tool, and create a stroke like this. Make sure fill color none, and stroke around 50 pixels. Now animate this shape, so open shape layer, go to add and select trim paths. Open trim paths, go to first frame, and add a keyframe on end. And change end amount 0%. Then go to around 20 frame forward, and change the amount 97%. Then go to few frame forward and change the amount 100%. Now again go to first frame and go to around 4 to 5 frame forward. And add a key frame on start, then go to around 25 frame forward and change the start amount 100%. Cool. You can move the keyframes according to your choice. That's look perfect. Now duplicate the shape layer, and rotate like this. Now again duplicate the shape layer, and rotate something like this. Duplicate the shape layer around 6 to 7 time so that it's cover our whole composition. I am moving this part little fast forward, so that you don't have to wait. After duplicate the layers, our composition look like this. Now change the color of shape layers, so select first shape layer, search fill color, and change the color as you like. Copy the fill effect. Then select second shape layer and paste it here, and again change the color as you like. I am moving this part little fast forward, so that you don't have to wait. After change the color our shape layers look like this, then randomly adjust the offset of the layer like this. That's look perfect. Now create an adjustment layer, and search rough and edges effect, and adjust the border and scale according to your choice. I think we should change the stroke pixels little bit, so select shape layer and change the stroke around 40 pixels, then select all shape layer, and change the stroke 40 pixels. Cool. Now adjust the border and scale again. Now apply turbulent displace. And adjust the amount around 20 and size 100. Cool. Now go to final comp, 
and import line comp into the timeline. Now add our main image here, so create a new composition, and I called this image placeholder1. Now import image1 into the timeline, resize it according to the composition. Now go to final com, and import image placeholder1 into the timeline, and move the layer a little bit downside of the composition. Now select the placeholder1 and search fill effect, change the fill color according to your choice. Then search turbulent displace effects. Change the amount 10 and size 15. And complexity 3. Now animate the evolution, so add a keyframe on first frame then go to around 2 second forward. And change the cycle amount 2, then go to last frame, and change the cycle amount 4. Cool. Now animate the position of image placeholder 1, so hit P for position, go to first frame and add a keyframe and move the position little bit downside of the composition. Then go to around 1 second forward and move the image placeholder upside of the composition. You can move the keyframe anytime. That's look perfect. Select last keyframe and choose easy ease in. Now duplicate this image placeholder one layer, delete both effects. Then search tint effect. Then search levels effects. And adjust the gam a little bit. Cool. Now search rough and edges effects. And change the border around 15 and scale around 400. Now I want to add expression on this layer, so open layer. Then expand transform hold alt on your keyboard, and click on this stopwatch icon, and add wiggle expression, wiggle bracket 1 comma 10 bracket close. Cool. Now go to project window and import circle footage into the timeline, then search fill effect. Change the fill color as you like. And also move the layer below the image placeholder layers. Now animate this, so open position and scale. Go to first frame, and a keyframe on position and scale and move the circle behind the image, and change the scale 0%. Then go to 20 frame forward, and change the scale 70%. And move the position like this. Select both last keyframe and easy ease in. That's look perfect. Now duplicate the circle layer, select all keyframe, and pick this point, I don't know what to call it, so pick this point and move where you want. Then go to the last keyframe on the scale, and change the scale size. You can also change the color as you like. Now duplicate the circle one more time, and move the circle. Also scale the size and change the color. Cool. That's look perfect. One thing we forget. Select the image placeholder 1 comp which we apply fill color, press U to show the keyframe, select position keyframe, and move the position something like this. Cool. You can adjust the fill color anytime according to your choice. Now add text here. So go to project window, 
Here we have brush footage, import brush footage into the timeline. Scale the size according to you. Then search fill color, and change the fill color as you like. Now duplicate the brush layer, and move forward to the timeline, so that this brush footage cover our timeline. Now add your text here, so create a new composition, I call this text 1. Width around 1200. And height 400 pixels. Now type your text here. Now go to final comp and import text 1 comp into the timeline. And resize according to the brush. I also animate the text, so go to text 1 comp. Open text layer. Add position. Then add scale. Open range select a 1. Then open advance. Change based on character excluding spaces. And ease high minus 100%. Change the scale 0%. Now go to around 5 frame forward. And add a keyframe on offset and change the offset minus 100%, then go to around 20 frame forward and change offset 100%. Also change the one more thing, go to advance and change shape, ramp up. Cool. That's look perfect. Now go to final comp and see the effect. Move the text layer few frame forward. Now I want to add some distortion effect on the text, so create a new composition. 1920 by 1080. I call this displacement map. Then create a new solid layer. And search fractal noise effect. Change the contrast 200, brightness minus 20. Now open evolution options and add expression on random seed, so hold alt key and click on stopwatch icon, and add expression time into 10. Cool. Now go to final comp, and import displacement map comp into the timeline, and turn off the layer. Then select text one layer and search displacement map effect, change displacement map layer, with our displacement map, Horizontal and Vertical Displacement 3. And also Horizontal and Vertical Displace Luminance. So it's look something like this. Cool. That's look perfect. Now select all layers and pre-compose them. And I called this Scene 1 Comp. Now I want to add transition effect, so go to project window, here we have circle png, so import circle png into the timeline, and change the scene 1 comp track mat alpha mat, now select circle layer and open scale, go to first frame and change the scale amount 0%, then go to around 20 frame forward and change the scale amount, until it cover our whole composition. Cool. Select the last keyframe and easy ease in. That's look perfect. Now select the both layers and pre-compose them. And this is our scene 1. Now add one more slide, so go to project window and duplicate the scene 1. Then import the scene 2 into the timeline. I think we should increase the timeline. Now open scene 2. Here we also need to replace this scene 1 comp. So go to project window and duplicate the scene 1 comp. 
Then hold Alt key on your keyboard and drag over the Scene 1 comp. Now open Scene 1 comp 2, we also need to replace the image placeholder 1, so again go to project window and duplicate the image placeholder 1 comp, then select both image placeholder in the timeline, now hold Alt key and select image placeholder 2 comp from the project window, and drag over the image placeholder 1 into the timeline, open any one image placeholder, and replace the image. Resize your image if required. Here you can see our image has changed. You can also change the background color as you like. Same you can replace your text also, go to project window, duplicate the text one comp, then hold alt and replace with our text one comp layer, and change the text. You can also move the brush and text anywhere on the composition, like this. Also change the R image placeholder position, so select all position keyframes and move where you want. Cool. That's look perfect. Also change the big circle position. Now go to final comp and see the effects. Cool. That's look perfect. Our animation has done. Let's see the preview. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.